Hey guys, how's everybody doing? Hope everybody's doing well. You know me, I'm Tom. Okay, back at you. All right. I just came from the Apple store, and here and here's the number one problem that I was having with this entire uh, new purchase of this iPhone 11 is that I couldn't upload any of the data from my 4S phone, and the reason why is is because the technology was so outdated that the new 11, the support technology was completely different and it wasn't accepting it. So just to give you an idea, this is my original 4S, the one I just had that I've used to upload YouTube videos for the last six years. And believe it or not, I still have the original iPhone 3G, okay? All right, there it is. I got both boxes, both phones inside the box right here. Now, finally when I got with a technician this morning, because I was freaking out because I couldn't get into YouTube, I couldn't do anything. I really, basically, I was getting my texts and phone calls. That was it. So spending all this money to upgrade to this new technology, and I wasn't getting anything for it in return. And I knew there was a lot of little issues, passwords, those were a problem too. So once we finally got all that straightened out, then I got with a young man this morning. Uh, he immediately, once he understood the problem, he was able to understand what it was gonna take to get in uh, to the phone, create all these new passwords, and, and basically uh, get me right, uh, get my phone working correctly. And that's video, I mean, the whole nine yards, we went through everything, all the settings, and uh, the downloads and you know the security features, uh, everything that was associated with this new iPhone 11. So what I ended up is doing is for the last hour, um, being at the Apple store, I finally got this phone set up for one thing that I, everything's set up except for one thing. The one thing that I cannot get set up right now is Apple. So, and that's the password to get into Apple. You know, when you get into Apple, it'll allow you to get all these downloads, you know, your apps and everything like that. So, uh, since we tried it so many times yesterday, trying to get into the phone, uh, it locked me out for, for the next 24 hours. And even, even uh, they, people at the Apple store could not get into the phone. So, here we go. And they said this is a dinosaur, but they said it was this thing was pretty cool, man. iPhone 3G, the first one I bought 13 years ago, and I literally, like I said, I still have, I still have the phone. So there it is in its original box. And my old trusty phone, the four, the 4S. I still got. Now I got that in the original box, and now I've got the iPhone 11. And of course, in the original box, obviously. But hopefully I'll be able to get as many good years of service out of this particular phone as I did with this 4G, because this is exactly, this 4S, excuse me. The 4S is what started my YouTube uh, career uh, and started me vlogging on YouTube. And, uh, you know, what can I say? I mean, it was a great phone for its time. But I can see the difference in technologies and I can also see the different quality of pixels, the light, hopefully the volume is going to be in good shape too and you can hear that. Uh, so when it comes down to it, uh, and of course I'm, I've got a really fancy tripod that accommodates this particular phone and uh, I had to buy that yesterday because my old tripod would not hold this larger phone with the case on it. So I had to buy that too, but I'm glad I did because I really like this tripod. It's much more universal than my other one. And it's also got a built-in selfie stick on it, which is pretty cool too. Uh, so when it comes right down to it, uh, a lot of you guys, um, you know, made some comments in regards to, well, now you can, you know, uh, do more videos and hopefully they're better quality. And, and I really, that's what I want. I want to be able to, to, you know, Catch up with the times, you know, uh, catch up with the technology because there's a lot of YouTubers out there. I watch their channels and, you know, they, they, they got all the editing and all that stuff down to a science. 
Here's here. Let me let me explain something about video editing editing on YouTube. Video editing on YouTube, if you're a tech guy, is not that hard. It's extremely time consuming to video edit. Uh, if I do a video like this one right here, and I want to put some music in it or some whatever, uh, you know, or interview somebody, and there's going to be cuts and clips, uh, and there's going to be captions or whatever on this video. I have to sit in on YouTube creators uh, and, and get into YouTube creators and, 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 and basically edit the video for hours and spend hours editing videos. I don't have that kind of time or patience to edit videos, so I bring you as much raw video as I possibly can, but at the same time, I also uh, pretty much have my dialogue down. In other words, I already know what I want to talk about when I post a YouTube video or I'm talking about a particular subject and being that you know I was in a car business for a long time you know I mean I'm a natural car salesman so what can I say I'm a natural salesman so the ability to talk on and on and on I kind of I got that gift for gap I've always had it and, and and it's not that I try to bore you guys with any of it is all I'm trying to do is just bring you guys cool information cool things that I do on a daily basis you know the mr. fix-all you know, of course, I'm not going to do too many more handyman videos. I told you I'm not going to anymore. I'm taking, trying to take this channel in another direction. Of course, the off-grid farm is very, very important to me. The little house concept, uh, you know, minim the minimalist lifestyle, uh, that to me is very important. So what I wanted to try to do for the future, my future channel, which is still Mr. Fix All, you can see I changed uh, my caption on my screensaver to Stonehenge Farm sign. And, and I did that because I don't want this channel to be all about Mr. Fixall. That is not what I want. I want this channel to have a lot more uh, 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 content when it comes to uh, other, other things other than just being a handyman or looking at jobs, which, you know, we could do that forever. And I think you guys, being a lot of you guys are craftsmen out there, you really, that's just pretty boring. So you already know all this stuff. So that's why I just, after, like I said, 500 videos of doing Mr. Fixall, I've already pretty much, I've given you guys every piece of information I possibly could uh, that, to, to, you know, help you with that. And uh, then, at the same time, I just want to make sure that, um, you know, the, the, the new content that I'm sharing with you, uh, hopefully you guys enjoy it. And, and, and shifting gears a little bit is always a good thing, you know, a little spice in life, you know. So that's that's what this is all about. I just wanted to, you know, just give you guys an update on this whole iPhone 11 situation. And it took me quite a few hours, five and a half hours yesterday, an hour today, to finally get about 90% of everything that I needed to figure out, the bugs and everything, the uploads, the downloads, the security, this, the, you know, the passwords, that. Uh, all fixed on the machine, on the uh, on the phone. And here's another thing too. You know, okay, it's a phone and it's also a camera. Now, hopefully, this phone does not overheat and shuts my camera off when I'm out on the off-grid farm or outside doing videos when it's 95 plus degrees outside. But we're gonna see about that. Okay, guys, you know what to do. Comment, subscribe, like, share and uh, uh, hit the bell for future notifications. You know where that is. And give me the thumbs up. Uh, this is me, Tom, here at Cross Creek Mall in beautiful downtown Raleigh, North Carolina, sitting in front of uh, the Wolf Pack sign. Oh yeah, the Wolf Pack. And uh, I'll be checking you guys out another video. And uh, remember, smash. Oh yeah, we got a security alert. We got a security alert. <laughs> That's funny. But anyway, somebody apparently is tripped off the fire alarm. I'll see you guys later. Ciao, Bella.